Hey, what is going on guys? Arvizet Stealth here, and in today's video, we're gonna be starting patch 9.3 off with an 80 carry tier list here, and with the crit item changes in this patch, it definitely does shake up the meta a little bit down in the bot lane for this patch. So to start it off in the S tier for this patch is going to be Jinx, and Jinx is an AD carry that just benefited a ton from the crit item changes. All the crit item changes pretty much benefit Jinx for this patch because she benefits from the IE changes, she benefits from the runes changes, as well as the PD and rapid fire cannon changes. So every single AD carry item in this patch that got changed, Jinx does build, and it's really helping her out for 9.3. Jinx is also a pretty solid AD carry at all stages of the game. There's not really a stage in the game where she's super weak. Her early game is deceptively strong, especially if you pair her up with a good meta support right now, like a Leona, a Thresh, or Morgana. You do have a lot of kill pressure in those lanes. Her two item spike is one of the strongest for any AD carries with Infinity Edge and your Runins. You start to do a lot of damage in team fights there with the crits from your Runins and the crits from your Rockets. And then also towards the late game, Jinx doesn't really fall off either she is a very strong scaling AD carry. So number two in the S tier is going to be Caitlyn, and Caitlyn, another great crit AD carry for 9.3. So Caitlyn is doing really good right now with Infinity Edge and then into a Static Shiv as her second item. A lot of people are still going for Infinity Edge and then into a Rapid Fire Cannon as second item, but the fact that Static Shiv did get really good buffs in this patch and the fact that Caitlyn does spike really hard off of getting Static Shiv and Infinity Edge, it just gives her a really nice mid-game spike. You should be looking to go for that for patch 9.3. She's an 80 carry right now that's great for the current meta, early game focus meta, so with Caitlyn being one of the stronger early game 80 carries, and if you do pair her up with another good aggressive support down in the bot lane, then you can really take over lanes in the early game. So still a premier AD carry down in the bot lane for 9.3 is Lucian. Lucian did also benefit slightly by the AD carry item changes in this patch. Obviously he does go for Bork into Black Cleaver, so his early game doesn't really get affected too much, but your third item on Lucian, it can now be a Phantom Dancer. And if you have your Bork, if you've got your Black Cleaver, if you have Tabbies, you also have the shield from Phantom Dancer. Lucian is just basically gonna be a tank AD carry. Like it's gonna be so hard to kill this AD carry in this patch. Patch. And if you can, if you can kite around well with Lucian, if you can use the low cooldown on your E, and you're able to just kite out team fights, then you can have a lot of success with this AD carry still here for patch 9.3. And then one thing to note for runes on Lucian is that you can either go Triumph or Overheal for your rune in the first row there of the Precision Tree. A lot of pros right now are going for Overheal. Both are still doing really good on Lucian, so I would definitely recommend trying out both and see which one you do prefer. So number four here is going to be Sivir, and Sivir is who I would call the most consistent AD carry for patch 9.3. Sivir's a pick that can win pretty much any lane right now. She's going to scale really nicely into the mid to late game. She's a pretty safe laning AD carry because even in matchups where she can't look to trade super well in the laning phase, because of her shove, she can really neutralize a lot of lanes and just shove the enemy into their tower so they can't really look to trade against Sivir in the laning phase. With the Essence Reaver changes, great for Sivir in this patch as well. She can now go back to rushing that. It's a great rush item on her for 9.3. Phantom Dancer as your second item gives you a lot of survivability there in the mid game. And then once you get your Infinity Edge, your three item spike of Essence Reaver, Phantom Dancer, and Infinity Edge is insanely strong. Sivir is just a really safe pick right now into a lot of the meta supports with picks like Thresh being played a lot, Morgana as well. Just having the spell shield there for the laning phase makes it very hard for those aggressive supports to really look to kill you in the laning phase. You're also a pick that even if you do fall behind a little bit in the early game, you're always going to be able to provide something with Sivir for your team with your ultimate, your ability to team fight, your ability to allow your team to look for engages or disengage is really good with the champion. So number five in the S tier is going to be Draven, and Draven also doing very well with the crit item changes for 9.3. You can now go back to Infinity Edge and Bloodthirster as your core items. Don't go Storm Razor on Draven anymore. Storm Razor as a rush item is not very good anymore, and it's not even that great of an item later on into the game right now. So Infinity Edge into BT on Draven gives them a very strong two item spike. Other than Jinx, that two item spike is one of the strongest uh, for any AD carry in the game, and it just allows them to 
to have a really good early to mid game. And then take note of the rune setup there on Draven. A lot of pros right now are going overheal and bloodline instead of triumph and alacrity on Draven, and it just gives him a lot more added sustain. Once you get your shield from Bloodthirster, you're also going to have your shield from overheal, and the added lifesteal from bloodline just makes you very difficult to kill. And then to round out the S tier for this patch is going to be Yasuo. So Yasuo with the IE changes and the Phantom Dancer changes in this patch make him an even stronger pick down in the bot lane. Phantom Dancer as your rush item on Yasuo bot lane makes him pretty much unbeatable in the 2v2. If you pair this guy up with an Alistar, a Thresh, a Blitzcrank, just any aggressive support, then once you hit level 3 and especially once you hit level 6, your kill pressure in the laning phase is just absolutely insane. You take the exhaust on the Yasuo bot lane as well, at least most Yasuo players do so, and then once you do hit your level 3, you just look to go for an all-in, and there's pretty much nothing the enemy AD carry or the enemy bot lane can look to do. You do have to play a little bit safer before you do hit that level 3 because you're not going to win an all-in at level 1, and most of the time you're not going to win at level 2 either, but with your wind wall at level 3, with your ability to dash through minions, you're going to be able to out-trade pretty much any other bot lane in the game. Now because this Yasuo pick is definitely not like your traditional AD carry pick and because he does play differently in the laning phase, I would recommend going into normals or going into flex queue, practicing him a little bit there and then take him into rank because in my opinion if played well, he's an insanely strong pick for this patch but if you don't really know how to play around your spikes in the laning phase and you're just playing too aggressive at certain points in the lane then you can definitely have a rough time on this pick as well. So for my tier 2 or A tier for this patch, there's a few AD carries here that are like on the verge of S tier for 9.3 and I could have included them in like an S minus tier or something, but those AD carries include Vayne, Twitch, and Tristana. The reason to why I didn't include Vayne in the S tier is because right now you have picks like Caitlyn, Draven, and Lucian who are very strong in this patch and Vayne can't really go toe to toe in the laning phase with those AD carry picks and her laning phase is still one of her major struggles and because early game AD carries are are being played more now in this patch, she isn't that blind pickable S tier AD carry, at least in my opinion. For Twitch there as well, Twitch did benefit a ton from the crit item changes. You can now go for Infinity Edge, Rudins, and then like Static Shiv core build on Twitch. Just go for a full crit build on him and you can spike really, really hard uh, with your 2-3 to three items there. But he does again, like Vayne, have a bit of a weaker laney phase. It's a little bit harder for you to get past that point on Twitch, so he does struggle quite a bit against the S tier AD carries. And then for Tristana, pretty similar pick to Caitlyn right now, does do very well with Infinity Edge into Static Shiv, does have very good pushing power in the early game, also scales really nicely into the mid to late game, but Tristana does have, again, a little bit of a weaker laning phase compared to AD carries in my S tier, and she does tend to struggle getting over that hump in the laning phase and reaching her mid to late game spike, so that's the main reason to why she is not S tier for 9.3. And then for Zaya, she is an AD carry pick that did benefit a lot from these changes. She can now go back to rushing Essence Reaver. She does have a much nicer build path now for 9.3, so she's no longer a C tier AD carry pick anymore. And then for Jin and for Kai'Sa, please do not rush Storm Razor on these AD carries for 9.3. For that matter, don't rush Storm Razor on any AD carry for this patch because with the changes, it's no longer a good rush item. With Jin, your build should consist of Infinity Edge into Rapid Fire Cannon, and then third item, you can look to go Storm Razor or for another Zeal item. For Kai'Sa right now, you should be looking to go for Infinity Edge and then into a Ginsu's or a Runin's, and then whichever one you don't grab second, grab for your third item, and just stop going Storm Razor on these two picks because Kaisa's win rate right now is sitting at like a 45, 46%. It's very low, and it's mainly just because players are not building her correctly for 9.3. And then for B tier slash C tier for 9.3, it's just going to be two champions here, Varus and Kalista. I actually think AD carry is a pretty good role now for this patch. There's a lot of pretty good AD carries that you can play right now, and that's why I did have a lot of champions in the A tier and in the S tier. But if there are two AD carries, I would still try to stay away from for this patch. They would be Varus and Kalista. Now, Kalista for the higher elos, I do still think she is a pretty decent pick for this patch. And if this was like a higher elo tier list, I would probably have her in A tier, but because I do focus my list more so on where the majority of the player base is, I do think that Varus and Kalista are both still B tier, and Varus is even like, I, I just think you should stay away from Varus for this patch. I think he's like more so a C tier pick for 9.3. 
So that is going to be all for this 80 carry tier list for patch 9.3. So that's what we're looking at for this patch. A lot of pretty good 80 carries for patch 9.3. I think that we do have a lot of diversity down in the 80 carry role for 9.3. And there's just a lot of different things that you can play and have a lot of success on for this patch. So with that being said, guys, if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you have yet to already. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video.